So now in this video, we're going to look at the 4011 integrated circuit. So what that means, it's a 4000 series integrated circuit, but the 11 means it's a quad. There are four of them. They have two inputs right there, uh, A and B, and they are NAND gates. So that is the NAND gate uh, symbol right there. And uh, Q means that it is the output. So the particular one that I have comes from a kit that I will uh, show you in a little bit. It's a CD4011BE, and we'll zoom in so you can see that uh, a little bit better. But in any case, different manufacturers put different letters in front of the number. That's usually what that means. And uh, BE means that it is an enhanced version from the base model. But we're not going to worry about those enhancements right now. Here's the kit I got the integrated circuit from. So it has the uh, part numbers for each of them and the different gates or whatever other circuitry is in the integrated circuit. The uh, one we're going to use in this video is up here. And zooming in, here's the integrated circuit we're going to use. You can see it has the uh, name and uh, pin layout. It's using different letters and stuff than what I'm using. But it's basically telling you the exact same thing. So now coming back to the diagram, which you should be able to read quite a bit easier. Now, I basically wrote some notes that I gathered from reading the uh, data sheet and uh, you should always read the data sheet especially for the particular one you are using but in any case these uh, outputs only provide a small amount of uh, current but uh, if you raise the supply voltage which uh, is VDD in relationship uh, to ground and uh, that's because of the type of the transistors in there often you'll see VDD D for uh, positive and VSS for uh, negative. So not going to go into detail why. That's easy to Google, but uh, that's just something to be aware of. But uh, in any case, when you raise the voltage, it can provide more current. And uh, so the supply voltage is uh, down to three, but I'm using a blue LED, which needs about three volts. So uh, we're going to stick with uh, going from five volts to uh, 15 volts. But uh, 3 volts to 18 volts is the recommended voltage range right there. Now, if you don't have a load, if all you're using it is, let's say, a signal, such as to an oscilloscope to measure the voltage or anything else that doesn't need current, then you do get uh, practically the full uh, voltage there, the uh, rail to rail. So now when you're first learning about integrated circuits, it can get overwhelming to have to deal with all these pins and stuff. Uh, but first thing, learn to power them up. So in this case, we got the uh, positive supply to uh, the top pin there, pin 16. And then down here, we got uh, pin eight, that goes to the negative supply. We got VSS right there. So already we got two pins knocked out of the way. We're not using any of these. You can see it's all just open. I think uh, with the 4000 series integrated circuits, you can usually leave them floating. I'm not sure though. And then we got uh, three other ones here. Floating means you got nothing connected to it, no voltage. And then we got three other ones that nothing is going to be connected to. We only have these three pins to worry about. And now we'll take a closer look at the circuit. So I did a schematic. All we can see right now is the input, but I'm just going to use a little jumper, but we could have a little switch that either goes to the positive supply or ground right there. And uh, probably be a good idea to also have a resistor that either pulls it up or down, but uh, it's uh, not needed. So it's to ground right now. We have at least one low input. So we have a high output, the uh, red LED. And then we have the uh, voltage divider. So second pin down, that is the other input comes across to a 10,000 ohm uh, trim pot, positive supply on one side, and negative on the other. All there are are these little pins there. And so I can give this any supply voltage right there. It doesn't provide any current, just uh, gives you a, a different voltage depending on where you turn the trim pot. Now we don't have to show how we are powering this on the schematic. When you see a logic gate, you know that it has to be powered. Some people though will show the uh, power on uh, this part here, but I'm not going to in uh, this video. So now we have uh, the output, a uh, third pin down, as we saw before. We got uh, the LEDs, and uh, so positive supply, we got to a 1,500 ohm. That's what this means. It's uh, basically 1.5K, but you may not see the point uh, in schematic, so they just shift the K to where the point is. So that's what it means. Same thing as 1,500. Uh, that's because we might go up to uh, 15 volts. And uh, so we have the red LED long lead, the anode up there. So when 
it's high, then the red LED will light up. Hopefully that makes sense. Blue LED, the uh, short lead, the cathode to this jumper that goes to the output. Long lead, the anode to uh, this, again, 1,500 ohm resistor. It lights up when the output is low, as you can see there. So now we'll finally come to the demonstration circuit. And the uh, demonstration circuits aren't supposed to be like terribly exciting circuits. They're just supposed to help demonstrate how the component works. And it's just fun to take a component and try to make working circuits out of it. So in any case, right now we have uh, both outputs low. The voltage is uh, basically below the uh, halfway of the supply voltage on both of them. They're actually zero uh, to the negative rail. So we can uh, move one to a positive or the other doesn't matter right there you're going to see that the red led stays lit up and it's not lit up very much because i'm only using uh, five volts right now but now that's high we showed them both low before and then just one high or the other high now we're gonna it's floating so they're actually uh, flickering back and forth because this is picking up stray signals and uh but when we give it a solid voltage of high now you can see we have a low output the blue LED is lit up. So you can see that with the true table. So now it's a NAND gate. That means it's not an AND gate. An AND gate, you would have to have both inputs high or have ones for the output to be one. Otherwise it would not be zero. So this is not an AND gate, it's inverted. It's the opposite. And there's a lot of good uses uh, for that. But in any case, both of the inputs have to be high for the output to be low. If any of them are low, then the output is high, as we just demonstrated. So now we are going to show the uh, power supply. We got somewhere about uh, 2 milliamps uh, total through the circuit with the blue LED lit up. Now we're going to set it so the red. And here we can see where it uh, kind of switches over. So there's a, not hysteresis. It's not a Schmidt trigger. You can see it kind of going from one to the other. But uh, somewhere around the halfway voltage range, it uh, will switch since we have... Uh, one up put high there and we bounce from uh, high to low with that one but in any case you can see we got about two milliamps with the uh, red and about uh, two milliamps with the blue approximately and uh, maybe that is just the uh, current that we can get due to the voltage but i also have somewhat high value resistors here so we can go to uh, 15 volts and uh, there you can see 15 volts we have a lot more uh, current right there so Part of that's due to the resistor value, but also the output is uh, limited to how much current it can output based on the uh, supply voltage. So now, of course, when uh, you learn about voltages, you want to take measurements, at least for a while, until it becomes clear what they are talking about. But in any case, the oscilloscope here has alligator clips at the end of the cable. I just clip them to jumpers. That way I can uh, tack it in the board so it doesn't slide around, and we can get uh, voltages just by me moving a pin. So the voltage is going to be in reference to a ground right there. That's uh, what that means. This will be either a higher voltage or a lower. It's always going to be higher because ground is the lowest voltage in this circuit. But we can go to the output right there. So now the uh, power supply voltage is uh, 5 volts. Ground is uh, 0 volts. That's what the low output should be. But there you can see it's not reaching 0 volts. And that is because the LED needs current. So if I remove the LED, there's no more current flow anymore. You can see we can actually get down to 0 volts with the output of this integrated circuit. So now I'm going to uh, set the uh, trim pot low. And uh, so we have a high output. Again, I put the power supply to a five volts and each square there is uh, one volt. We're falling about a volt short, but that's because we have to provide current to the LED. And now the voltage goes up. So that's how you know the current is uh, being set a lot by how much voltage the uh, load is losing instead of just the resistor value alone. So now I raise the uh, voltage to 15 volts. You can see the red LED is uh, brighter and uh, we don't have 15 squares there. We are uh, topped off. So we can uh, either change where uh, zero volts is and uh, hopefully we're back down to uh, that bottom point or it could change how many volts each one of those uh, squares is. So I just went the wrong way. There we go. Now each uh, square is uh, five volts. So you can see we have basically a 15 volt uh, output but if I uh, remove the LED it looks like it uh, kind of shifts a little bit so we're actually it looks like it's showing a little bit more than uh, 15 volts there with the red LED so it is still kind of dropping the voltage but it's not as dramatic at uh, this higher voltage 
it uh, does a little bit better. So now let's set uh, the output uh, low and there you can see we are not hitting uh, zero volts. Again we can see where uh, zero volts is and uh, it did shift up a little but uh, as you can see we don't have as drastic of a difference as uh, we did at uh, lower uh, voltages and we can verify that that is actually zero volts. For some reason it shifts a little when I uh, change the voltage uh, zero volts there but uh, in any case hopefully that uh, makes sense. So that's about it for this video. It was long, but hopefully you still enjoyed. Uh, if people watch these longer ones, I'll make longer ones. If uh, they don't watch very much, I'll make shorter ones. So in any case, that's it. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. And uh, check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen. I'll see you in the next video.